The self-propelled mortar known as the 2S4 Tyopen, also referred to as Tulip, was developed during the late 1960s. Its initial prototype was finished in 1969, and it was adopted into service by the Soviet Army in 1971. Approximately 450 units of these artillery systems were manufactured. Notably, Iraq received 10 units and Czechoslovakia received 8 units as exports. The 2S4 Tyopen was deployed in conflicts such as Afghanistan and Chechnya. By the year 2000, this mortar was still operational in the Czech Republic and Libya. The Czech Republic eventually retired these mortars, while the status of the Libyan units remains uncertain. At present, the 2S4 Tyopen remains in active use by Russia and Kazakhstan, with at least two units present in the latter country. As of 2018, the Russian army operated 40 of these artillery systems, while an additional 390 were kept in storage. Starting from 2022, Russian Tyopen mortars gained significant utilization during the invasion of Ukraine, with a number of them being lost in combat. The Russian Ministry of Defense appears to have initiated a refurbishment program for the stored Tyopen mortars to reactivate them. The primary function of this mortar is to eliminate enemy bunkers and field fortifications. It proves effective against entrenched troops and structures, even though its accuracy is not particularly high. The 240mm shells it fires deliver substantial impact. The mortar system is equipped with an externally mounted 240mm breech-loaded mortar, which was developed from the M240 towed mortar. The 2S4 Tyopen can fire the complete range of 240mm mines designed for the M240, including high explosive, heat, anti-armor, and chemical variants. A standard HE mine weighs 130kg and boasts a maximum range of 9.6km. When using rocket-assisted mines, the maximum firing range extends to 19 kilometers. Additionally, the 2S4 is capable of firing laser-guided munitions. Originally, the Tyopen had the ability to launch ZBV-4 mines armed with nuclear warheads. These had a similar range of 9.6 kilometers, 19 kilometers with rocket assistance, and were designed for urban destruction. Following the Cold War, both Russia and the United States dismantled their nuclear artillery units. By 2000, Russia confirmed the destruction of all nuclear artillery shells, including the ZBV-4 shells for the Tyopen mortar. The shells are stored in two automated drum-type storage compartments, capable of carrying 40 standard or 20 rocket-assisted shells. The system can also utilize ground ammunition. Due to the weapon's large size and ammunition weight, the maximum firing rate is limited to one round per minute. The vehicle's armor offers protection against small arms fire and artillery fragments. For self-defense, a 7.62mm machine gun is positioned on top of the commander's turret. The 2S4 Tyopen employs a modified track chassis derived from the Krug surface-to-air missile system, known as the Su-100P. It is propelled by a front-mounted V-59 diesel engine, generating 520 horsepower. As for variants, the 2S4M is a proposed modernized version based on the Ural 63706 military truck with a 6x6 configuration and an armored cab. Russia chose a wheeled chassis for cost-effectiveness and ease of maintenance, which also enhances mobility. A reloading vehicle supporting this artillery system is likewise based on a 6x6 military truck chassis.